Again, my name is Jennifer Dixon. I'm a coach with Fitter and I own Thrive Yoga and Wellness inside of Chattanooga, Tennessee. We do a lot of yoga, Pilates. Uh, I love strength training, things like that. I don't love run, um, running or jumping. Hurt myself too old for that. So you'll notice that we do like to work hard here in these classes and these sessions, but you won't have to worry about jumping up and down. We'll have three circuits. We're gonna work 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So each circuit is either um, six minutes or nine minutes if we do opposite sides. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna kick off my shoes and start getting warmed up. So if you want, you guys know I love some yoga, we're gonna inhale, bring your hands up and overhead, long body stretch, maybe your hands touch overhead, reach over towards the right, stretching out the right side body. Squeeze your ears, maybe with your biceps, inhale, come up through center and go over to the left, stretching out these right side obliques, stamp down firmly with that right leg, press it down as you lift up and over. Inhale in through center, reach the fingers towards the ceiling, and maybe go back just a bit. Make sure your tummy's nice and tight. Inhale and coming up, and let's do a forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to to give your back a little bit of a break for this. I'm walking this out just a bit to get into the hamstrings one at a time. Now I'm gonna bend the knees, bend the, knee, the chin to my chest, let the head go. It is cold here in Tennessee. Oh, now let's take those weight legs out wide, long, uh, wide-legged stretch. In yoga, it's a uh, variation of prasarita. Now we're gonna bend that left knee and get into that right inner thigh, right hamstring. Modification of like a skandhasana, deep low lunge to the left. Let's go up through center and over to the right. You'll notice we're not holding these stretches long. We're still cold, we're warming up for a workout. So these are a little bit shorter stretches, a little bit of dynamic movement maybe. Come back through center, reach those hands forward, getting into the back a little bit more. As you push your hips back, hands forward, feel this stretch. Almost like you're a ooh, leopard or a cheetah, whatever color these pants are, stretching before a big hunt. <laughs> All right, coming back through center, shimmy those feet close together, soften the knees as we slowly roll ourselves all the way up. I'm gonna take my hoodie off. From here, we're gonna take those arms up and overhead. We're gonna be doing lots of push-ups and planks. So take those arms up and overhead, reach that right hand, grabs the left wrist, reach it over to the left again, Coming out through center, really trying to uh, bring your fingers forward, then pull the shoulder blades back. Forward and back, two more. One more. Then left hand grabs right wrist, take it back up and overhead. One more side stretch. Take it behind you a little bit, over to the right. Oh man, my side body needed this. Do some circles. One more in that direction before we go in the other direction. Three times. And then reach those hands up one more time. Take them behind your back, clasping them, pull them down and away, stretching out across the chest. Again, with the push-ups, we're gonna work our chest and shoulders. Let's make sure they're kind of warmed up. Oh, I got a nice pop, how about you? Take that right arm across the chest, stretch it out. Take that left arm across the chest and stretch it out. Ooh, triceps are sore. Take that right arm up and overhead, left hand grabs the right elbow, pull it back. And then let's do that on the other side. Left elbow behind your head, pulling it back. Nice, good stretch here. Beautiful, we're gonna get into those legs one more time. If you have your little stair, step or your stool or your chair beside you, pick up that right foot, leaning over it, getting a nice hamstring stretch here. I'm going to pull my chair forward so y'all can see me. If you want hands on either side, helping to pull you down. Now let's take that left hand to the outer edge of that right foot. Right hand's going to reach it up. You guys know I like some yoga, so I'm going to modify it here. Reach here, nice twist. 
You should feel this along the outer band of that right butt cheek, right leg, foot can be pointed or pointed or flexed. Take that right hand down, enjoy the stretch one more time. Then we're gonna set it down, pick up that left foot, stretch it out here. Play with whether you want your hips squared off to the front or slightly open. It's going to depend on your own personal anatomy here. And if you can't straighten your leg, that's okay too. Do what feels good to you. Playing with that point and flex. We're going to take that right hand to the outer edge of that left foot if you can. If you can't, if that's too much, it can stay on the inside edge. We're going to reach the left hand up. Holy smokes, this is my tighter side. Draw that belly button in to get a good deep twist here. Oh yeah, all right. Take that left hand down, remove that left foot, shake it out however you need to to get into your hips this morning. So, this first circuit, we're gonna do three of them. The first circuit is sumo squats. As many reps as you can do for 40 seconds. I'm getting too close to my one camera. I've got a timer over here, let me get it set. You guys ready to go? Everybody good to go? All right, I'm gonna get my timer. We're gonna be a one minute total circuit. In that minute, we've got 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. I think we can do it. I know we can do it. I'm hopeful that my watch timer technology skills is gonna get this for us. So, huh, so a sumo squat, we're gonna get started here in 20 seconds. Oops, I have it in zero seconds. A sumo squat, you're gonna have your toes out, heels in, and you squat down as low as you can. You might notice that I don't go quite as low as some people. I have like a hip injury, so if I go too low, I usually end up paying for it the next day. So trying to get down as low as you can, really squeeze the bottom, have your chest nice and proud. You ready? Let's get started in three, two, one. Sumo squat this out. So you may be wondering why I started with sumo squats. Well, it was better than starting with the pistol squats. That was one reason. But two, I thought this was a nice way to get us warmed, to get our bodies going. Remember, each time you come up, really squeeze the glutes here. Make this be a really good bottom exercise for you. And then you notice that your legs are gonna start to warm up. If you want, you can intensify things by coming up to the toes. Whoa, that gets a little bit more into the calves. And if you're wanting to make it more high intensity, this next go round, you can add a jump, landing there on your toes, and then jump again. All right, 20 seconds rest. That wasn't so bad, was it? So 40 seconds, we're gonna go a little faster next time. You've got the opportunity to add to it by adding jumps coming up on your toes. You can also add your arms out wide or your arms out to goalposts, bringing them up and down. All right, so that's a pretty good, nice warm up. We got that, um, Oh, no, now we gotta do our plank variations. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. I was just gonna do that again. So next, uh, next exercise for 40 seconds, since I've taken too long, we are gonna come down here to our chest and let's do 40 seconds of push-ups. You ready? Let's go. Remember, you can have your knees down onto the mat at all times. I tend to automatically do chaturanga push-ups because I've done too much yoga. Holy smokes, I'm messing up my own circuit. Ah, oh, keep going, draw that belly in, drop down to your knees as soon as you need to. We are halfway there. Keep going. We got 10 seconds. Three, two, get one more in. Nice, catch your breath. Step back up for your sumo squats, 20 second break. How you guys doing? Whoo, it's quiet today. All right, five seconds, we've got the sumo squats. Remember, you can make this uh, more challenging by being up on your toes or adding some jumps. All right, let's do it. Sumo squat starts now. I'm gonna come up to my toes. And so, for arm variations, let me shove my phone in my shirt. We've got this number where we can take them up and down. If you're feeling really froggy, add some jumps once you get to the top. 
Make sure if you do the arm variations, you keep those shoulders down and away from those ears. All right, couple more seconds. We got now 20 second break. This go round, if you want, instead of push ups, I'm going to do hip dips. We're going to come down planks onto our forearms, hit the dips, uh, hip, dip the hips side to side for 40 seconds. We got four seconds, so let's get down here, coming into your plank position, down on your forearms, 40 seconds, drop the hips side to side. Remember to come back through plank each time. Try not to let the hips go up too high. So this is upper body work as well as core work. Feel your obliques working as you dip those hips side to side. Keep going. So you're either doing push-ups or you're doing these hip dips. Both of them are pretty freaking awesome. We got five seconds. Let's get two more in each side. Oh, nice. One more. And then catch your breath. Oh, all right. We have one more round of that circuit. How you guys doing? Good thing there's just one side to do. Hopefully your heart's starting to go get a little bit high. Your heart rate is. Let's do that. One more round. Just like that. You ready? Set up for your sumo squat. If you want to add the jumps, you can. You can go faster if that feels good to you too. Come to your sumo squats. And again, you can stay up here on your toes to intensify things just a bit. Remember to squeeze your glutes a lot. Try not to let your knees dive in. We want to have them tracking over the toes a lot. Keep the belly nice and firm in. Knit those ribs in. We got 10 more seconds. How many more can you do in 10 seconds? For three, two, one. Beautiful work. Catch your breath. Let's get down here. So we've either got push-ups or we've got those hip dips. Or we can do a variation where we do a push-up, then tap opposite elbows from the plank position. That's what I'm going to do. So a choose your own adventure. Let's do it. We got 40 seconds starting now. I'm going to push up. Right hand taps left shoulder. Left hand taps right shoulder. Push up. Left hand touches right shoulder. Right hand touches left shoulder. Push up and reverse it. Try not to let your hips wiggle too much like mine just were. Ooh, teacher's getting in trouble. So this is working obliques as well as all of your chest muscles as you go through your push-up. We have 10 seconds left. Last one. Give me a good push-up. Nice. Okay, how you guys doing? Our next circuit's gonna be a little tougher. You're gonna need your chair here. And this is where we do our pistol prep. I'm gonna give myself a little minute, second to catch my breath. So here's your chair. And if you don't know what a pistol is, it's like a super deep, low, one-legged squat. Oh, and um, it's tough, it's tough but it requires a ton, a ton of strength here in your glutes and in your thighs. So what we're gonna do is we have our chair. Keep in mind, the lower the chair, the more you gotta work. So mine's about midway down, right? So before we get started, I'll demo. If you want, you hold your leg out in front and never touches anything, or that foot can be on the ground to help you balance, your choice. Now, how far away you are kinda depends on your anatomy. I'm not going to hold on to my hips. I'm going to have my hands out in front, maybe tap the booty down, lift it back up. And then you can do that with your leg up like this, or you can do it with your leg down if your balance becomes an issue. What you really want to think about is squeezing the glutes as you come up, okay? You ready? 40 seconds here. We can do anything for 40 seconds, right? 
Lord have mercy, I hope. All right, let's do it. Squatting it down, lift it up. Sometimes I wonder why I choose 40 seconds versus like 30 seconds. <sighs> Balance is an issue. Halfway there, we can do it. Oh, really try to push down with that left foot. We got 10 seconds. Draw the navel in. 20 second break before we do that on the other side. Five seconds. Can you get one more in? One more. Ugh. 20 second break, then we do it again. How's that left butt cheek feeling? Mine is singing. Catch your breath. Endeavoring here to maintain good form even when we're tired. All right, we got another set. Other side, 40 seconds. Setting it up and we shall go. Touch that right booty down. I guess that'd be both booties. Woo! Squeeze as you lift. Challenge your balance, challenge yourself. Really stamp down firmly with that right big toe. That's gonna help you with balance. We got 15 seconds. Holy smokes, 10 seconds. Keep going. Can you give me two more? There's one. Last one. Oh, all right. This next round for 40 seconds, we're going to do hollow body holds. That's where you lay on your back, holding your hands up, your legs up. If you want, you can also kick. I'm going to do a hollow body hold with kicking, I believe. I think I can do that. So lay down on your back. Get your whole rib cage pressing into the mat. Draw the navel in. Lengthen out through the toes, the hands, and let's go. And if you want, you can kick just 40 seconds. We can do anything for 40 seconds. Guess what? We're 10 seconds in. Energy out through those toes, but try not to lock the knees. I tend to lock my knees, which Disengages the core somewhat. Halfway there. Loving this core work, right? 10 seconds. We can do it. Try not to lock your knees. We got five, four, three, two, one. Say a little prayer. Round one is done. How you doing? I'm gonna get the chair back out and ready for round two of those pistol squat preps. We're gonna feel this tomorrow. I'm quite certain of it. Okay, 40 seconds. Set yourself up. I think I started with the left hand side. I'm gonna do that again. And let's do this. Squat it down, lift it up. I am struggling here today. Keep going, stamp down firmly. Use your left butt cheek, squeeze it. You can leave that right heel down if you need the extra support, if you need the extra balance. <sighs> Trying to not lift off with the right heel, just using it there as the support network, maybe like a little crutch. <sighs> We got five seconds. Can we do this a few more times? One more. We can do it. Nice. Catch your breath. 20 seconds before we move on to the other side. Oh, oh my gosh. Good job, guys. Now, I forgot to mention, if you're feeling super froggy, you can jump when you get to the top of that squat. So you go down jump up. I'm not a big fan of jumping. So if you want to do that, more power to you. Let's go do this again. Other side, right foot does it.
pay attention to your alignment. I don't know if you could tell. I was just really duck footing my feet out, <sighs> trying to recruit different leg muscles to get out of the booty. And we don't want to get out of the booty, do we? We want to work the booty here. Ugh. Keep going. We got 10 more seconds. We're working on those peaches. Oh, keep going. Two more. Last one. Holy smokes, take your break. 20 second break before we go back to those flutter kicks. Whew. Holy smokes, good job guys. All right, this next thing we're going to do, flutter kicks, hollow body flutter kicks. Let's do it. Lay down and start kicking. Now, if this is too much, you can let your head come down, arms come down and just do flutters, or you can just hold it here, or you can add the kicking. If you're holding it or kicking, try not to lock those knees out. Try to press down the tailbone, the lower ribs, chin to your chest, getting the upper abs in. Whew. We got another 10 seconds. We can do anything for five seconds. Take your break. Holy smokes. All right. Last set of those pistol squat preps. How you guys doing? The next circuit, I swear won't have the chair. It'll be like a um, single leg Romanian deadlift, sorta. Of. So it's like Romanian deadlifts meet yoga. You ready for last set of these? Try to, try to push through that pain. I know you're out of breath, but I also know you can do it. You ready? Starting out here on the left, 40 seconds, step it, sit it down, set it up. <sighs> Keep going. Draw the navel in, protect the spine here. Squeeze the glutes at the top as you shove your hips forward. If you want, you can add in that extra hop. More power to you. Keep squeezing, keep going. We got another handful. Let's get three and two. Last one. Holy smokes. Take your break. I might have gone over a little bit. My phone turned off. Your left side will thank you for it tomorrow. Maybe. In that why are you doing this to me sort of way. Okay, 40 seconds, other side. Let's do it for, whew, last time. How much more can you give this set? Can you push up a little further? Can you get a little bit more out of those glutes? Quads, whew. keep going. Really try to push those hips forward. Drive down through the ground. Picking yourself up, getting stronger with each squat. Ugh. I cannot wait to revisit these in a few months. See how much stronger we are. Two more. Last one. Yes, okay. Remove the chair. Prepare for your hollow body flutter kicks. Catch your breath, that's kind of important too. Okay, last one, best one, hollow body flutter kicks. 40 seconds and let's do it. Try not to let your back bow up too much. That goes out of the core and into the back and we're really working these core muscles today, right now. We're halfway done. Thirteen seconds. I don't know if you're like me. I like to count down. 
Keep going. Five seconds. And then take your break. Oh, all right. So last set, last six minutes of your workout. Assuming I can catch my breath. We're gonna do that play on the single leg Romanian deadlifts, slash like a warrior three movement into standing splits. And it looks a little bit like this. Left leg's gonna be straight, right leg. It can be on the ground for stability, or it can be lifted for a little more work. Touch the ground, squeeze, lift back up. 40 seconds, one side. 20 second break, 40 seconds the other side. Now, the next exercise, you can either do hip thrusts, glute uh, bridges, or you can bring your chair back up, have your feet elevated, and squeeze from an elevated foot position. It's awesome for the booty. You ready? This is just a, our last segment. We can do anything for nine minutes. You ready? Let's go. We got 40 seconds here on the left. Take it down, bring it up, squeeze those glutes at the top. Make sure your belly stays nice and firm. How controlled can you make the going down and the going up? Feel this in your hamstrings and in your glutes. Love working posterior chain. What is it? Somebody called it, we have to pay attention to the non-mirror muscles. We rarely pay attention to that posterior chain. So let's focus on it today. Oh, three seconds. Can you give me one more? Nice, 20 second break. Do you feel that in the glute and the hammy? I like to call that that nice little under booty area that doesn't like to behave. We got 10 seconds to break. Then we do that on the other side. All right. Here we go. One minute, I mean 40 seconds, other side. I have a one minute timer, so I stop us at 20 seconds because I am not savvy enough for a 40 second timer than a 20 second timer. So if anybody has an app or something that does that, let me know. Keep that belly in. Really squeeze in the glutes here as you lift yourself up. Feel that imagine. I shouldn't say imaginary. Feel that space on the back of your leg, the meaty part of your hamstring. Feel it helping to lift. Three seconds. Give me one more. Oh, nicely done. 20 second break. Get your chair out if you want to do the elevated glute bridges. We'll do it one time with both feet, one time with one leg. So three rounds, right? So it's, those last two rounds are gonna be killer, but let's practice it this way so you can see it. So, 40 seconds, those little hip thrusts, glute bridges, kind of depends on oh, where you are, who you're talking to, right? So, this is also super fun to do if you have a stability ball. Grounding down through your hips, your heels rather, let's lift it up, 40 seconds. Don't let your knees splay out. Keep your knees hugging towards the midline. Squeeze the glutes here at the top. See how high you can go. See if you can even lead with your tailbone on the way up. And let the tailbone be the last thing to go on the way down. That's like extra credit for the booty. Lead with that tailbone and then end with the tailbone. Keep going. One more. 20 second break. You got this. All right. Oh. Hey, Pratik. Hey, Sanjeet. Okay, so glute bridges, like in um, yoga, a bridge, you just hold it up when you're on the ground. When, they're, when people are working out, they usually put like a barbell across the hips and they call them hip thrusts because it's a movement, like a dynamic movement. Um, I am not, uh, I'm not the nomenclature uh, expert, to be 100% honest. Still kind of doing the same thing. When you're doing the hip thrust with the barbell, you can add more weight. I find that if you lead with the tailbone, articulating the spine up 
and then down you'll get that say if you get like a deeper glutey burn glutey burn booty burn so that's kind of what that is all right i forgot to set the timer we had a slightly longer break thanks for distracting me let's go 40 seconds on the left <laughs> in high school i had a spanish teacher who shall remain nameless and we could get him off topic off uh we could get him distracted by telling us stories and now all of my students because i am a, a yoga teacher now all of my students know that we can get distracted by getting me to tell stories so thanks <laughs> oh my gosh keep going 10 seconds oh i got sloppy on that one squeeze the glutes here lifting up push down through the heels one more 20 second break catch your breath we're going to do this on the right hand side and then come back to the single leg glute bridges or hip thrusts and i could be wrong with that is that pratique i could be wrong and i can't not wait to be corrected because i know that there are much smarter people here inside fitter and on the internet that can correct me let's 40 seconds other side push down firmly through that right foot endeavoring to have a straight ish leg my right leg doesn't stay as straight just notice the difference between sides notice it and then work on it keep going oh and i think my dog got locked outside and nobody's here draw that navel in we got 10 more seconds five seconds push down through the big toe oh nicely done 20 second break here catch a breath you do not have to have your hips elevated here you'll still get a really great workout with your feet on the ground i like the um the greater range of motion when my feet are raised up i feel like i can move a little further it's a little more challenging all right this time i'm going to start out with my, whew, I guess left, let's start out with the left leg because it's had a break, but it's not gonna get a break now. So 40 seconds, plug that left heel in, lifting that right hip up, 40 seconds, and go. Notice how the foot's going straight up to the sky. It's not going overhead. Push down through the heel to lift the hips. Try to lead with your tailbone here. Keep going, halfway there. You feeling this in the booty? This is awesome. Keep holding those legs in towards the midline. They're gonna wanna splay or do something else. Eight seconds. We can do this, give me two more. Last one, Ugh. nice. Holy smokes. I'm just gonna uh, do the other side, go straight into it so we can do single legs twice. I was thinking just uh, one set of each, but oh no. We're gonna do this twice. Two seconds. Right side plugs in. And here we go. See if you can plug those shoulders down into the mat and keep them away from your ears. Your shoulders like to help you do everything Tell them they don't have to help today. Lead here with your tailbone. Draw that navel in as you push the tailbone up towards the sky. Try to keep your hips nice and level this whole time. Because my left hip likes to collapse. We got eight seven seconds. Holy smokes. Give me one more nicely done oh say a little prayer we've got one more set how you guys doing <laughs> oh my gosh okay so we got those single leg toe touches sort of like romanian deadlifts and then we have the single leg glute bridges let's do it 40 seconds each one and here we go
Don't get sloppy because we know it's the last set. Make it be your best set. Can you push down through those big toes as you squeeze that left glute? Thinking about the smile that is the line underneath your glute muscle. Toning it up today. No longer will we have miss. We've got smiles. Take a break. Holy smokes. <sighs> Last set here on the right for me. Drink your, drink your water. Drink your water. Lord have mercy. Drink your water. Catch your breath. Whew. All right. One minute, 40 seconds. So let's go. Push down through that full right foot. Endeavoring to not let your foot be pigeon-toed in or ducking out. Push down firmly with that right big toe. Can you squeeze the glutes a little more as you lift up? Shoving the hips forward. Getting that little bit of extra credit at the top. Almost lost that one. Couple more. One more, you can do it. Oh, squeeze it here. All right, preparing here. Single leg glute bridges, glute thrust. Oh, I'll get it right. Oh, all the oxygen is leaving my brain, going for my glutes. 40 seconds each side, then we'll be done for the day, guys. You will have earned your protein. Getting started here with the left side, and let's go. Try to keep the foot going straight towards the ceiling, pressing down firmly with that left heel. See if you can lead with the tailbone. And then last thing that ends is the tailbone. Feel the difference as you do it that way versus just shoving it straight up. That's a shout out to Pilates. They know what they're doing. Almost done, 10 seconds. We got this, give me two more. Oh, catch your breath, hug your knees in. We've got 40 seconds of work left before our cool down. Don't quit on me now. It's hard, but it's worth it. And we can do anything for 40 seconds, right? Anything, ground down firmly through that right heel. 40 seconds of work, leading with the tailbone, starting now. Can you make this be your strongest 40 seconds? Keep going. How much firmer can you press that heel down as you lift the hips up high? Holy smokes. We've got 10 seconds. Last 10 seconds of your workout today. Five. Give me three more. Two. Last one. Oh my gosh. Give yourself a squeeze. Rolling over to the side. Saying a little prayer. <laughs> that could just be me. Oh, let's stretch it out. We got to give our hamstrings and, and glutes a little bit of love after all that. I hope you had fun here in this three circuit interval training. No jumping, but hopefully you got your heart rate up. Hopefully you got nice and sweaty. Oh man, I'm just forward folding over my extended legs. You may not have straight legs. Your legs may be bent a lot, that's okay. You do you. I'm gonna bend my knees. Oh, thank you for coming, Shriek, Shriek me. I hope you had fun. Let's cross that right foot over the left, stretching out the outer edge of that right butt cheek and the hammy of the left. This is a play on the Ardha Baddha Padma Pashimottanasana exercise. Modification, getting into the outer edge of that right butt cheek. 
Now we're gonna twist it, take that right elbow to the outer edge of that right foot. Oh yeah, press the right foot into the right elbow as you gaze over that left shoulder. You should feel this really big time along the right butt cheek, right back, right side of your back. Forward fold. Now we're gonna take the left elbow to the outer edge of that right knee. This is prep work for some interesting uh, arm balances and such. Oh my gosh, my dog wants in. All right, I'm crossing that right leg. Cross that left leg over, enjoy the forward fold stretch. Good work today, guys. I'll be here stretching out, doing those either sides for another few moments. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, know that you can always hit me up with a private message, either inside the Fitter app or on Facebook and Instagram. I am on both. Instagram, I'm Jen Fit Now, and on Facebook, I'm Jennifer Dixon Yoga or Jen Supergirl. Let's take that left elbow to the outer edge of that left foot, gazing over the right shoulder. Don't forget to tell your friends about Fitter and how Fitter offers free workout sessions twice a day inside the Fitter app. You'll have tons of coaches to choose from, tons of different types of workouts. Coming back through center, right elbow to the outer edge of that left knee. This is the first time I've led a non-weighted, non-yoga related workout, so hopefully it was fun. But there's tons to choose from twice a day inside the Fitter app. And inside the studio, we offer yoga and Pilates sessions every single day. So check us out online. I'm going to lean forward one more time. Bring those feet together, knees flopping apart for a little bit of cobbler's pose, Baddha Konasana maybe. Lean in forward just a smidge. If you want, you can take your arms behind your back, pull them down and away as you lean forward, double dipping in the stretch across your chest and your inner thighs. Grounding that right hand down as you lift the left hand up and over, side body stretch. Oh, let's do that on the other side. Left hand down, right hand up, take it over. Nicely done. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. 